Ah, hello everybody. So, um, let's see. How many days ago? 15 days ago, I started a project. Showed you all this whole process. Building my own power supply. Um, I think this is video number 9. And uh, today is the day. I got everything together. Everything's done. Everything's functional. I actually haven't turned it on yet since I wired the last wires. So I'm going to do that with the camera on. But uh, I have to say this has been very um, stressful, actually. And I'll explain why later. Right now, let's get to it. Uh, let's show you what I got. All right. So here's the wiring. Uh, a lot of you are kind of worried about what I'm going to do with these wires and, and just different odds and ends. A lot of these I got zip tied together. Um, and most of them, you know, are, are good. This little mess in here, kind of eh, kind of iffy, but it's it's all good. It's not, it's not going to hurt anything where it's at. Um, once I get this front on, I'll put the lid on and the side on to get all these in there. So, um, so yeah, here's the front panel, and, uh, this, uh, the only thing I don't have, I'm going to say this is officially unofficially finished, because it's officially done and working and functional, but it's not officially finished, because I don't have the breakers or the bottom terminals. Um, so the banana plug connectors are going to go here, and, um, then I got breakers that go in here for the outputs. Right now I do have it wired up so I can use it for a while because uh, this big uh, blizzard of 2011 storm is just totally got my stuff in a ball. <laughs> Hope y'all are okay out there in that storm anyway. Alright, let's quit boring you and turn it on. I'm going to plug it in. Hopefully nothing goes to smoke. Ready? Uh oh. Oh man. Well, something sounds fishy. And I gotta fix something. Hmm. Not sure what happened. Let me turn it back on. Something's making a funny noise. Not sure what that would be. Let's uh Let's double check some stuff. Hold on. Hi, everybody. So, it's kind of weird. Check it out. Um, strangely, whenever I connect these capacitors, and it's, this makes sense, but whenever I, whenever I connect these capacitors on this board, they squeal. This thing squeals. Um, so, <laughs> I'll show you. Hear that? So, actually this thing does work, but these capacitors squeal, so I guess I'll take them out for now. You guys can tell me why. I mean, it's pulse width, and I kind of understand why, but that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, maybe somebody can figure that out. So, let's try this thing out. So far, so good. The meter's kind of funny, but... Uh, I think I got something somewhere I need to figure out still. But uh there you go. High and low. Let's try uh this one. That's weird. Something's wrong with that one meter. That's why it's not reading right. But, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna keep digging. Okay, everybody. So, I'm slightly disappointed, but, I don't know. Things seem to work, but the meters aren't reading properly, and I think that has something to do with the fact that um, it's a high frequency. So, um, I gotta figure out the capacitor thing. You guys let me know I need your help there. And, um, and the meter, the voltmeter, basically, what happens is, uh, I think since it's such a high frequency, um, see, it'll read across the one, 
See, I'm reading across the one. Okay. So anyway, the voltage here is reading properly. And uh, this meter is kind of off. And I think that has to do with the frequency thing. See, I'm getting voltages across all of my meters. I mean, all of I'm, I'm reading voltages off my switch like I wanted to. And um, that part works great. Now, when I go to when I go to connect these together, that's when they kind of act funny. See, it goes to overload right away, um, which means you know over voltage. So yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm officially gonna say this is finished because it does function. Um, the voltages come out and everything works great. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this box together and then uh, just let it be as it is. Uh, so I got some other things to take care of. And then when I get all my other parts in, I'll come back and finish it. So uh, this is officially kind of the last video of this series. Kind of disappointed, but uh, what am I going to do? So uh, uh, let's slap this box together. So I'll be back. Okay, everyone, I have put the box together and cleaned it up. Yeah, I cleaned it up. So, uh, here you go. This is officially it. It is, uh, it is put together. The only thing plugged in here is this power cord. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, there she is. Wow. Done. Um... I still have a few issues to play with here and um, I will I will do that and then uh, I'll post, post another video and uh, for now though that's just what I wanted to to do is get it functional and there it is it is actually functioning and this meter is actually reading lower than what my my other meter here does so Again, I think that has to do with the pulse. Um, but I need your guys' help to figure out the capacitor thing. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to put yesterday's footage on there. Um, so you guys can uh, can see that. But right now, I'm going to uh, set this camera here and have a quick little talk. Okay, uh, let's have a little talk. So some of you wonder how I get stuff done so fast. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm extremely tired right now. And uh, the box still has a couple of things to work out. But uh, I've been getting up at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And then working till 4 on this. And then at 4 I go to work. And then I get back from work and work from about 1 uh, until about 4.30. If I don't have anything else to do, clean up the house, stuff like that. That's been my schedule. And uh, I have a beautiful wife and a 1-year-old. And uh, my wife's pregnant, so things have been crazy and uh, she's actually on bed rest uh, for a little while because she's uh, she's big she's having some some uh, we're almost done here so yeah that's what I got to say it's uh it's been interesting it's been real but I'm gonna take a small break um, it functions and the voltmeter works uh, the I unhook the amp meter for the time being I may hook it back up real quick but uh, there you go I'm going to go to some other things in life. <sighs> Exhausted. There it is. You can feel the airflow going through them holes pretty good. I really don't think this box is going to get very hot. It's cold air coming out right now, but you know, I'm not drawing anything from this box either. So, anyway. Um That's it for now. Uh, I am tired. Love that big red light. <laughs> Move my mouse. Uh, somebody asked me how heavy it was. This thing weighs a lot. I really don't know how heavy it is. Let's lift it up. Oh my. Oh yeah. You're looking at at least 30 to 40 pounds. Probably more actually. It's probably... It's probably more than I think. I'm stronger than I think I'm, <laughs> maybe. But uh, these wires here, let me really tell you this. This is ground. Positive 5 volts. Positive 12 volts. 
a negative 12 volts and this is for circuitry purposes only um, it's just to run the the high and the lows on circuitry now I can also connect you know these two together and turn this voltage up to where I want it and then this would be my ground and this would be my negative and this would be my positive and I can do the same thing with negative and positive voltages um, you know that's not a big deal I can do that but uh, there you go it's officially unofficially done this is rust uh, you've just seen me build the power supply from scratch this is video 9 day 15 oh one more thing I have to say some of you may have noticed this some of you may not but in this video I shaved my face now the reason I did that is because uh, I thought it'd be fun since I'm posting a video like every other day that if you go back and watch all my videos you actually see me grow my hair out I thought it'd be interesting and like you know when you ever uh, somebody goes on a long trip and comes back and like their hairs are long and they're all roughed up well that was the same situation uh, yeah my wife didn't like it <laughs> but all clean now nice and pretty feels good and I gotta go alright peace everybody let me know what you think about this build like I said I got a few issues to work out and I will be uh, going back putting in the breakers and fixing all the minor issues um, but the capacitor thing, let me know what you think about that. I do know on the uh, controller that I built uh, for my skateboard that I had to put some diodes um, across these capacitors and that made that go away. But these capacitors squeal. 250 volts, 1500 microfarads. So, uh, I don't know, whenever you hold them on there you can actually feel it vibrate. It's really odd. Alright, this is Russ. See ya when it's uh, time to put this stuff together and 100% finish this thing. Alright, bye.